Uh, unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. A lot of time it's on. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, hey Benson, what do you got that camera on for? Um, well, uh, you know what? Morris is down here. Why do you have the camera on, Mr. Grumpy? Come down here. Okay. Why do you have the camera on, Mr. Grumpy? Why? Well, look, that's it. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm still pretty mad right now. Well, why? I mean, you realize that you destroyed that lithium battery, you know, and that was a lithium battery, as I just said. I mean, obviously. Yeah, you just said that, Mr. Grumpy. Well, anyways, why'd you do that? Well, what do you mean, why did I do that? You know, get behind, the, get behind the fucking camera, okay? Hey, get behind the damn camera! Huh, no, man. Why, why'd you destroy that battery? Because well, I, I wanted you to turn the damn camera off, and I thought destroying that battery would show it, but I guess it didn't. Maybe I should take the camera from you and break that. Come on, Betsy, you wouldn't really do that. Uh, maybe I would. It's always gotta be something before it can be done, doesn't it? It's always something. All the time. I get tired of it, I get fed up with it. Is there another reason why you get so mad? What do you mean? I mean, <clears throat> Maybe there's another reason why you're so mad? Where are you going, Benson? Where are you going? I don't want to talk about it! That's it, just, just relax. Get up, get up. Get up. Where are you going to use it? Listen, I don't want to talk right now, okay? Just leave me alone. Why, why? Just leave me alone, okay? But, but Benson, no, I just... Listen, Mr. Gumby, all right, I don't want to deal with this right now. Now leave me alone! But, but, now! You know what, no. No? You're, are you really going to disobey me right now? Ah, unbelievable. Are you going to... Are you going to answer my question? You know what? There is another reason why. It's because I really want to see Psycho Dad. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard me correctly, Mr. Grumpy. I want to see Psycho Dad. I want to deal with his ass. I want to confront his ass. Here, you know what? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I, I don't think. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. I said, you want to videotape me? You know why I'm really mad? Get mad? Because we have still haven't went over to McJournal at this house, yes? So that we, so that I can confront Psycho Dad. That, that's part of the reason why you get so, why you get so mad easily? Yeah. When are we gonna do it, huh? I don't know. We'll do it soon. Yeah, do it soon. You always say we'll do it soon. Well, I just gotta get permission from him. So, are you serious right now? Sometimes you just gotta say the hell with it and just do what you gotta do. You understand? I, I guess. It's not that you guess. You should. You don't understand. Tell your dad lately. You know, he has been acting like an asshole lately. You don't remember doing that re reaction to Psycho, Psycho Dad's flight kind of freak out? Remember that where he got mad there? Well? Are you going to answer me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I just say? Um, uh... I'll, ask, I'll, I'll repeat again. Remember that time when Psycho Dad was freaking out only because Jesse wanted to fly a kite? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. Yeah, he started freaking out over that. He destroyed those damn kites. And, yeah, I mean, I would have understood if he got on Jeffrey's ass, but he got on Jesse's ass, too. He's always got some reason to get on Jesse's ass all the time. And it's not, it's not just that. It's pretty much after that. He still acts like an asshole. What, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Sit down. He still acts like a friggin' asshole. Do you want me to turn this camera off? No, leave it on at this point. Told us for me to, told us for you to turn it off now. Why start now, huh? Anyways, I am fed up with Psycho Dad's crap. I mean, let me, let me continue what I was saying before I forget. So, after that, after pretty much that, you would think that he would probably cool down a little. But no! As soon as they get, well, not as soon as they get home. Well, eventually, when they get home, Psycho Dad, he start. well, actually, when they get home, you know, Jeffrey pulls a prank on Jesse, right? Yeah, which is, which one was that? He pulled kind of lots of pranks. Well, the one, the reason, the, the first one he pulled on Jesse was when he pulled, when he, when he painted his part, when he... Listen, calm down, calm down. It's when he painted his car pink. It's when Jeffrey painted Jesse's car pink. And then, and then when Psycho Dad saw that, he not, he didn't, it, it's like he got mad at Jesse more than Jeffrey. Even though Jeffrey was the one who freaking did it!
You, know, you just made the thing go down. Are you serious right now? You know what? He was the one that made him do it. What are you doing? Putting this thing up. It's stupid thing. What the hell? Is, why does that thing keep going down? Here, close it. Damn it! Why is this thing falling down? I don't know, man. A, don't tell me to calm down. I get fed up with... No. I was gonna say... So something like that, he reacts to... He reacts to Jesse's paint car. In which Jeffrey painted... But then, Psycho Dad wants Jesse to park it somewhere where nobody can see it. Because I guess he doesn't like it or whatever. I don't know. Because I guess he would be embarrassed or whatever. And so, Jess, and, and so Jeff Sr. gets mad at Jeffrey. At least I think he does get mad at Jeffrey. But he also gets mad at Jesse. Blames him there, too. And wants him to hide his car or whatever. And then comes... And, and then comes... I don't know if you this. Shut up. Listen to me. And then comes... Psycho Dad breaks camera, which is pretty obvious there. Oh, actually, actually, before that, Jesse wants to talk to his dad about something. He basically wants to talk about how he's not going to go to Hollywood because I guess his family thinks his family, except for Jeffrey, thinks that he's going to Hollywood, right? Right? Yeah, I guess so. But you know, Jesse is not. I guess Jesse doesn't want to go. But anyways, so. I think Jeffrey multiple times threatens to tell his dad that Jesse's not going to Hollywood. But if, at some point, Jesse thought that he could tell his dad, right? He was going to go in there. He actually told Jeffrey that he was going to get him back, right? And then Jeffrey threatened to tell his dad if he did. And so you know what? Jesse goes up to his dad and was going to tell him. And w when he wanted to talk to his dad, guess what his dad said? That's what he said. What? Are you going to turn off the camera? Yeah, he's going to go on about the camera thing now. He's going to get up on Jesse's ass about having a camera on. Are you serious, Jeff? Jeff, someone's have a conversation with you, and you're going to get on his ass about the camera thing. It's bull crap. So then Jesse has this talk, and I think, I think, I think Jesse just can't come to a, to, to a conclusion that he, can't, that he isn't going, because then his dad starts saying stuff like how he doesn't want to be, now he, do, he and his family don't want to be involved in Jesse's videos anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't, so basically, the dad says in that video, when Jesse was going to tell him that he's not going to Hollywood, his dad says that he doesn't want to be in videos anymore, and it's not just him. He doesn't want the family to be on there either. And he just straight up told Jesse that he doesn't want him to do YouTube. That's bullshit. That is absolute bull crap. Why would why would you why would you why would you crush a man's dreams of doing of what he of doing something that he loves to do and then you got somebody that's telling you that you that you can't do it anymore? And then Psycho Dad, he, he tells Jesse he's done and all that. And then he starts getting out on Swift's ass saying, get the camera out of my face. And he gives a threatening look. And he sounds threatening too. Why do you think he sounded too threatening? I saw the video too. Yeah, well, he's sounding pretty threatening. He gave those threatening eyes. And what did Swift do? Nothing. And Swift, he has his own, he has his own ways of being irritating. Laughing stupidly and all that. And get, having that weirdo laugh. I don't, I don't want to get on that. So then... As we thought, as you thought we were going to be done there, you thought Jesse was going to stop filming him. Then comes the video, Psycho Dad Breaks Camera, and it's basically after Jesse pulls a big prank on Jeffrey, and Jeffrey throws the thing, and then, he find, and, then, and then it lands on the lawnmower and cuts it. So then, Psycho Dad finds out that his lawnmower seat was busted, and he blames Jesse for it. He blames Jesse! Not Jeffrey, Jesse. He gets on Jesse's ass. And, and Jeffrey comes out there filming it, as, uh, of course. Of course, Swift was filming it too. But so Jeffrey comes out filming it. And bottom line is, you know, when when Psycho Dad told Swift two times to turn off the camera, first time Swift didn't do it, and then the second time when Psycho Dad told him, he grabs the camera from him and breaks it. He breaks Jesse's camera. And, but 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 he doesn't break Jeffrey's. Why did Why didn't he take the camera out of Jeffrey's hand and break that? Huh? Why is everything gotta be always, always Jesse's fault all the time? Everything's always Jesse's fault. Are you gonna are you gonna relax now, Benson? I'm almost done. Yeah, we gotta go. Go. I'm almost done. I said, don't shut up. So Je so Jeff breaks Jesse's camera because of course he has to blame somebody. He has to blame Jesse for everything. 
Well, I think he did that because he didn't want to film it. But yeah, but still. And well, yeah, Jesse does get the camera from Jeffrey Jr. You know, what? Well, anyway, so, um, long story short, even after that video, Psycho Dad acts like an asshole, when Jeffrey paints Jesse's room pink, Psycho Dad sees that, and then he gets mad at not only Jeffrey, but he starts getting on Jesse's ass too. Like what? Like, it was his idea. Like, it, like Jeff Sr. acts like it was Jesse's idea to paint his room pink, even though Jeffrey was clearly the one who did it. Does his dad not know how to work YouTube? Like, honestly. Or does he just not bother watching YouTube? The videos? And you know what? Ugh. So bottom line is, I'm pissed off at Jeff even more than I was. And it gives me a reason to confront his ass. Get the phone. You know what, turn the camera off. I gotta answer this. Turn it off! Uh, okay. You know what? Give me that. Who is that? I don't, I don't know. Here, let me answer Hello. it. Here, you know what, come on. Ow. I don't know who the hell that is. But bottom line is, all the stuff that Jeff has been doing so far is just bull crap. And well, yeah, the recent video I did just vaguely see, I didn't really see the video at all. It was titled, Jesse Paints His Dad's Back Go Pink. You know, I, I don't know what it was titled. But he paints his, dad back -o, his dad's back go pink. Oh, you know what? I'm done. Jesse's dad, stop blaming Jesse for everything. Now turn it off. Now! Uh, okay, okay. Somebody's got a fucking call. Why do you still have the damn camera on? We have to get going, don't we? Yeah, I guess so. Well, you know what? Bottom line is... I'm just really pissed off at Jeff right now. Because he's always got to blame Jeff Jesse. Jeffrey. Whoa. He's always got to blame Jesse for everything, doesn't he? I mean, yeah, Jesse did do some crap in the past. Yeah, I still kind of hold a grudge against that. Yeah, well... Jeff is just being more of an asshole than Jesse was a long time ago. He can't let go. You would think that he would get over this crap because he was he was in a better mood. But no. He's got to act like an asshole. You know what? I'm done. I hope to see him soon. I really do. May God have mercy on his soul. Okay, let's not say stuff like that. Look, I know what I mean. Turn it. You, you know what? Just... Uh, what's going on right now? You don't need to worry about it. But you know what? Find it. Eh. Alright, well, we'll see you later, Benson. Hopefully we'll get to see him. Get tired of it. Get tired of it. Alright, well... So sorry you guys have to see, hear a lot of Benson yelling, but... I guess Benson just... Snapped, you know, and it's just he just wanted to re let out the real you see because he did, has been yelling at the creator off camera lately. I don't know if he wants me to tell you guys that, but um, he does yell at the creator because the creator might do things that get him upset easily. And uh, I don't want to get personal, okay? All right, I gotta go. I will see you. I'll talk to you. I will see you. I'll catch you guys up later. I'm sorry that you guys had to listen to a lot of Benson's yelling. He's just come on. Let's What's going on? Don't worry, buddy. Let me just put you in there. Yeah, we gotta get going now. I know, I know. Alright, anyways, I gotta go now, guys. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though there was a lot to see. It was just mostly Benson yelling, and I'm sorry you had to see that. Alright. I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.